Yeah, hey, I'm Randy Stein. A uh, little background here on me is uh, started. I grew up in church, and uh, you know, life has always been as a child. You know, you grow up believing in Jesus because you don't want to go to hell. But there never really was much relationship. Uh, I know for me, the uh, childhood, good family, all that. I can't say I came from a rough background at all, but I know as a teenage years from when I made some really poor choices, and a lot of it due to just, you see a lot nowadays, kids getting picked on and all that stuff, and that was happening back in the rough child, I was always getting beat around and all that stuff. And, you know, in teenage years, I really started questioning what God is all about, and if he ever was even there, or heard anything I said. And I know uh, my later teen, well, when I was 14, I got into drugs and alcohol. And uh, that's been a story for about 34 years of my life. So living a life of what a normal person does, I really don't understand. And, you know, when I was 18, I got into, I gave my life to Satan. And because I thought this whole God thing wasn't working out for me. And, you know, that was an interesting ride. And it turned into pure torment. And I begged and pleaded for God to take me back. And over the years, I finally started to feel like God did love me, that I was actually worthwhile. And for the longest time, I felt like there was no worth to me at all. Uh, you know, and the course of life with different churches and stuff, I had the cops remove me out of one church. Uh, I was banned from another church. Um, and I lived in, lived in some homeless missions, a whole bunch of different rehabs and mental hospitals. And it's been quite a wild ride. Uh, and through the, through the course of time now, so some unfortunate circumstances, actually turned out to be the best thing in my life. I ended up here at Mountain Ridge. And, you know, since I've been here, I found one thing I've never seen before was real people. Everywhere I went was all a bunch of stuffed suit fake people. And I would talk, talk about you behind your back, and then on a Sunday morning, they'd be nice to you. And that's something I really can't stand. But here at Mountain Ridge, you know, I walked in here the first time, I believe I was hung over, but people were super nice and showed you where the coffee was. I've never been judged, which is something I was never used to in my life at all. And it's something I was very thankful for. I actually looked forward to Sunday mornings coming back to church. And it's great because you can dress however you want. I, I like that too. I didn't have to have a tie or anything. I can actually wear black and white pants. But um, like I say, the real people is what I love the most. And to be in a community where you know other people have problems, where they struggle with things. Some of them have won the struggle, some of them are still fighting through it, as I am. But I've always had a desire and a passion to work with people that are hurt, people that I can relate to. And I just wasn't sure if I ever could, if I would be worthy to do something like that. And from being here, well, actually I actually was living in a homeless mission just this past January. And I felt that God was telling me to make a change in my life, so I knew I needed to. So I talked to the pastor here and uh, signed up and started taking classes to get my minister's license. And there again, you feel unworthy, why would you do that? But then I noticed that God uses all kinds of stuff. And with all the mistakes I've made in my life, I see how the, such wonderful things have turned out for me and the uh, different people that I can talk to because I understand, I've been there. And the cool thing about this church too is I can walk up to about the most people and talk to them and they understand because a lot of them have been there too. So anyways, but my feelings about Mountain Ridge, I'm looking forward to this new Mountain Ridge in Gettysburg. And because I've actually been in some drug and alcohol classes with a bunch of people in Gettysburg. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that down there and the opportunity because, boy, it's really made a change in my life. And I know I'm not the guy I used to be five years ago when I first set foot in here. Long ways to go yet. God's still working on it.
I'm Randy Stein, and Mountain Ridge was built for me.